Fullerthon. Why is that news? Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black, and I guess we'll start with you can't take it with you. Yes, Richard Branson, <laughs> billionaire <laughs> pledge, who uh, has been seen with a model on his back windsurfing in the Bahamas, says life's <laughs> been so good to him that he's going to give half of his wealth or more than half of his billion-dollar fortune to. Um, the Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and Bill and Melinda Gates Giving Pledge. It's part of an initiative to, for billionaires worldwide to give their wealth to society while they're alive. And uh, I think it's a great idea, great concept. Twelve foreign billionaires have done it. 105 total families have uh, announced that they're going to be giving half of their billions or more to charities while alive. Because for guys like that, heaven is right here on earth. Yep, it's been it's been a good life to him, as you said. Yeah, definitely, especially with girls windsurfing on your back. That's pretty There's good. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> all right, let's talk about a winner here, Yahoo. Uh, Melissa Mayer doing all kinds of great things and now revamping the homepage. Yeah, and have you looked at it today? I haven't seen it yet. It's uh, quite nice. Um, and do you like uh, it? I do. And Miss Mayer was on Good Morning America today, or she was on Today's Show and not Good Morning America. And that was a little bit of a fluff because they've got a relationship with Good Morning America. But the the homepage is going to be redesigned now to like show us more things that we like, like Kate Middleton. Who doesn't like Kate Middleton? Who doesn't? Um, and if you don't like Kate Middleton, you can now say, I don't like Kate Middleton, and in the future you won't see Kate Middleton stories. Hmm. Um, traffic's still pretty good on their homepage. 392 million worldwide visitors last month, up 7%. She's turned around the company. People believe in her, and so far so good. It makes it look also more mobile, which is something that she's focusing in on. It's amazing when the staff seems to like the person leading the company, how that can just change everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, also, she's accomplished. Yeah. It's not just likeability. Okay. So she's oh, got a good career behind her. Right, let's talk about uh, Google Glass. And everyone waiting for this to come out. You can, some people can get their hands on it now? Yeah. Um, a contest just opened up over at Google. Google Glass is an internet um, wearable computer on your head. It's not going to be available to the public probably until late 2014. It's been available for developers. But for $1,500, you can, well, you have to enter the contest, but you also have to pay $1,500 if you win. <laughs> um, up to 8,000 glasses are going to be up for grabs. You can follow the project on Twitter at, pro at Project Glass or Google Plus Plus pro Project Glass. And you have to have a submission. It's, you know, a little video submission, a little word submission on why you think you deserve them. For instance, I would say, cool broadcaster, hip, financial, could talk about your stock. Yeah. And maybe they'll... Uh, Give me a pair of Google Glasses. I was for thinking, put bucks. the teleprompter in there and you could just do the news wearing the Google Glasses. You know, the problem I have with Google Glasses is that's $1,500. And how fast would it be for me to take that off her face and run? You get very good. You get maybe got to get a locking mechanism in the back of your head for it. And we all want that too. Yes, we do, Rob. So. You, you probably can't turn around and sell them, though, right? There's probably some sort of uh, thing you sign. Maybe get them. All right. All right, let's go to our viewer email. And uh, from Jim, is gold a buy under $1,600 an ounce? You know, I tend not to think so. Gold's been falling. Um, you know, gold, I think, is a speculative way of, of playing inflation. Inflation's starting to pick up in the 10-year Treasury bond. Boring. I don't want to get too detail-oriented for you. But people are also saying, you know what? The economy looks kind of good. Something's going to happen with sequestration. We don't see the government going to heck in a handbasket. So people are getting a little bit lazy, and we're not fearful. Gold is a play on fear. For the average investor, you don't need gold. If you're wealthy, gold is a nice hedge against inflation. But it doesn't have a job, it doesn't earn more money, and it's not a currency that you're going to spend in a holocaust, a worst case scenario type of economic collapse. You're going to have a shotgun as your currency. So those who are predicting doom and gloom, I don't buy into the gold argument. For a long-term hedge against your wealth, yes, because it is a hard asset. All right, thank you, Rob. And if you have a question for Rob, you can post it on his Facebook fan page, and we'll answer it here on the Crop 4 Morning News. Annie? All right, thanks, guys. Turning to weather live outside here at San Francisco. Look at all that blue sky. Uh, it looks pretty, but it's uh, feeling pretty cold out there. Here's a look at our forecast with Erica.